The first component of launching your product is to plan your launch. This sounds simple, but it is one of the most overlooked steps by new internet marketers. First, you need to do market research. This is before anything else so you can create a product with high relevance to the needs of the market. This is a cornerstone rule in internet marketing, but it is also one of the most skipped or overlooked steps by internet marketers. Creating a new product without doing research is very risky, as it can potentially waste your precious time, money, and resources. So where do you understand the market needs? First, create an account on jvzoo.com. This is the most well-known affiliate site among the internet marketers. It's a marketplace for product creators and affiliate marketers to market their various digital products, ranging from ebooks, video tutorials, software, apps, and plugins. Second, compile a list of featured products of the past six months. You can find this information under the Featured Products section in JVZoo. You are directed to a page where you can view the top picks for the past months. On the right side of the page, you can view See More, where there is a month list starting from the current month to the previous months. Click on the month and it brings you to the featured products of the selected month. Get familiar with the system as soon as you can. Next, organize the list using an Excel spreadsheet. Categorize your findings to its respective month where the products were launched. Then create another category in another column and categorize it accordingly as software program, a web-based app, graphics, or a hybrid product. A hybrid product is a combination of two different product types. For example, a web-based software that generates graphics and logos. The last category and column is purpose. For example, is the product created for traffic or list building, email marketing, SEO or logo and graphics creation? This is your job to organize your research so you can easily analyze and measure the data. When you've listed out all the featured products, you'll see a pattern. What you find is a list of the most and least popular products for the past six months. The reason why we're analyzing it is to know what's been selling well in the market. This indicates the needs of the market. You may also research up to 12 months and analyze to see if there is a product launch pattern according to the months. For example, is the month of December filled with fire sales or graphic product launches or something else? That's why planning and research is important for your product development. The key word you're looking at is innovation. Take a closer look at the evolution of mobile phones, computers, and even your printers. These things are hardly original when they were released. Would you agree with me if I say they are only revisions of previous creations? Yes? So how is this information important during the planning phase? It means you don't necessarily need to invent an entirely new product to become successful in your business. Any existing products will always have room for improvement. Look up what is selling in the market and analyze it. From there, just improvise and innovate. Create your own product with two or more added product types or recycle features from the previous ones and you're good to go.